So let's have a look at how we can access Logic's auto-tune. So let's grab the vocal lead here. And let's give that a little bit of auto-tune style correction. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop it ahead of the chain, so above the de here. So I can just go to the little line just here. And if we scroll down to pitch, which is where it's kept by default, and there's a bunch of things in here, but we are after the one that's called pitch correction rather than auto tune. And if we open this guy up just here, we get this super old school interface from I think like Logic 5, but it still does a good enough job 90% of the time. So to set this up, we need to first tell the pitch correction what key we're working in. Yeah, this is in F sharp major. Major. So what we're going to do, we're going to go scale, major scale, and F sharp. Wonderful. So now let's just solo out the vocal and you should hear it's getting a little bit of correction. Been stuck inside a disarray, I can't overcome. And it's just catching those wobbly notes. Now if we bring the fast down here, the response time, we'll get closer to that T-Pain vibe. Been stuck inside a disarray. I can't overcome. And then we can do micro tuning essentially on the side. I can put it up 50 cent. Been stuck inside a disarray. I can't. That's if we just ever so slightly need to be off. Now, I like to play around with the timing here. I usually find anything below like 80 is a bit quick. So something like 89 is usually okay. Been stuck inside a disarray. I can't overcome. And I feel the current underway. Let's say there's a note in here that never gets reached or we don't want it to ever correct to that note. For example, the G here is never a note, but it isn't in between. We could disable the G and then it will stick on, say, the A sharp or down to the F, whichever it's closest to. Been stuck inside a disarray, I can't overcome. So we don't want it to go through that G, so we just have it disabled, as simple as that. Uh, and then once that's set up, well, that's effectively it. The only other thing to note is if you've got a really low down vocal, uh, you might want to switch it to the low tone here and it will be correcting that instead. But then in context, we're good to go. And there you go, friends. That is how you access the auto-tune in Logic Pro and get it set up quickly and efficiently to fix your vocals. If the video was helpful and you want to learn more about Logic, check out the playlist on screen right now.